Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different today. I've recently been learning how to do my own nails and today I'm gonna to show you my Christmas inspired nails. It's never too late to learn a new skill and to develop a new hobby. And I've been so inspired by a YouTube channel that I watch here on YouTube. I don't want to butcher the name, but I think her name is Junelle. She's a really good nail artist here on YouTube and I love, love, love watching her videos. And this style is inspired by one of her videos that I watched. So if you want to go check out her channel, go ahead and do so. If you love watching nail tutorials like I do, you would definitely love this channel. So yeah, I've done basic nail care on my nails and I actually did record this as well but I didn't want to make this video too long so I just put that in a separate video. So I'm just buffing the surface with a buffing block um, just to get a rough surface so that the nail sections can adhere to the nail bed properly and I'm taking my time and using this nail prep to wipe my nails, making sure I get into the corners and the crevices of the nails. My nails are quite curvy, so I definitely do need to take care and attention in the curves and the corners of my nails. And now I'm taking this nail dehydrator, which is a mixture of rubbing alcohol and gel removal, I believe, mixed up as a solution. So I'm just polishing that over my nails and allowing that to air dry, it doesn't take too long. And now I'm going in with my primer and I'm just going to paint this all over my nail beds as well. And I'm going to give this 60 seconds to dry. So that's all the preparation done. And now I'm moving on to doing a base coat. The brand that I'm using is Model Ones. And I also do use the Model Ones Poly Gel in this tutorial as well. I do like this brand. I haven't tried out many, many different brands, but this is a brand that is popular on Amazon that I've seen a lot of people use and done a lot of reviews for. So I thought I'll try it out for myself. It took me a little while to get used to painting my nails with the gel. It can be a little bit messy and it can flood the cuticle area. I've done that so many times. <laughs> But it's just been like a thick layer at the cuticles instead of a smooth transition so i'm just making sure not to flood the cuticle line here taking my time taking a thin coat as well because you can always build the layers i find it's much easier to just do two thin coats and to use the uv lamp for 60 seconds in between so the packaging does say to cure for 30 to 60 seconds but i always do 60 seconds with every layer that i do just to make sure that it's fully dry because i have under cured my nails before and it just comes out lumpy and bumpy and it ends up coming off easy so yeah i make sure to cure my nails for 60 seconds between each layer once i've finished curing that base gel i'll go ahead and use the alcohol to get rid of any sticky residue this is something that I learned along the way. I didn't wipe my base gel before I applied my colour and this also helps to prevent lifting, early lifting of the gel and it helps to adhere to the nail properly. And today I'm going to be using this glittery gel. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name, <laughs> the brand name. Um, but yeah, I'm taking this gel. It's basically got glitter pigment inside and there's a magnet inside the packaging as well, which enables you to move the glitter pigment around. With the video I'm following in this tutorial, the girl made it look so easy to do this part. And I think it's because she had a stronger magnet than I did. Um, this magnet seems to be very, very weak and it seems to only work in a very, very particular way. So as you can see here, I'm really, really struggling to move the pigment around. And sometimes I over manipulated it and made the pigment completely disappear. So I had to reapply it and then move it in the way that I want it to move. So yeah, it took me quite a while to do this part, which is quite annoying. And I did two coats of this as well. So I did one layer and moved the pigment around, cured it, and then done another layer doing the same thing. I did one finger at a time because I didn't want the magnet to interfere with the other nails but because the magnet was so weak I realised that it didn't actually matter when I was doing the second layer so the second layer I just did them all together and used the magnet one after the other and then I cured it for 60 seconds I cured the first layer for 60 seconds and then the second layer 
for 60 seconds. So I'm just fiddling around with the magnet and trying to get it in a desired shape. I didn't get it too perfect like um, Junelle has. I'm actually going to leave the link for that video in the description box below. But the way that they make it look so easy and it looks so beautiful on their nails. Like I was a bit disappointed the way mine was coming out. <laughs> but it's fine. It, it still looked beautiful and it still does look beautiful. I'm actually still wearing them right now. I just changed the shape to what I created in this video. So this is the brush that I'll be using to apply the poly gel. This is another set that I'm going to review in a later stage, but I am just using a clear poly gel that I bought separately from this set and I'm just using the brush from that set there. So I'm going to be using nail forms in this tutorial. I have had previous experience using nail forms before. These are just some nail forms that I got another acrylic set that I tried before. I don't really like the way these work. I think they're just a little bit too small for my finger. I need them to wrap around my finger a little bit more and the adhesive can be a little bit stronger than what it is. So I just wrap that around my finger, make sure that it's snug underneath my nail. So, and I stuck the form together behind the finger to make sure it's secure. And I'm using about two beads of the poly gel on each nail. I did skip a lot of this application process because it was just, it was so fiddly. I really wasn't enjoying recording this part of the video at all and um, so i'm just gonna do my little finger in full i think that's what i decided to do so i'm using an alcohol to move the poly gel around so you know like with acrylic you have your monomer with poly gel you just use alcohol and i'm using isopropyl alcohol here i think it's 70 percent and it's just it just helps it to move around on the nail basically The poly gel is quite easy to use. It's much, much, much easier to use than acrylic. Oh my gosh, I had a really, really bad time with the acrylic last time. Um, it was just running everywhere. After I watched like several videos, I realized there's a better way for me to apply the acrylic, but I'm not gonna be quite, <laughs> but I'm not gonna be trying acrylic out for a very long time. Now that I found poly gel, poly gel is just so easy to work with, honestly. It melts a little bit because I feel like my hands are very warm naturally anyway. So the gel was melting a little bit and flooding just a tiny bit, but you just literally take a little bit of the alcohol on the brush and sweep away the gel that just gets flooded. And it's just so easy. So with the shape, I'm just making a normal square shape and I'm gonna be shaping them a lot afterwards anyway, but I'm just trying to get a very, very well-structured nail. That is my main aim here. So I'm trying to get the extension really smooth near the cuticle line, a little bit thicker in the middle and then tapered off towards the end of the nail. And once I'm happy with the shape, I'll go ahead and cure that for I think two minutes, two minutes each time, I believe. I didn't go ahead and shape each nail one after the other because the gel would just melt and flood my cuticle lines.
so I did one nail at a time and then once I finish curing I take the nail form off and then I go ahead and wipe the nail with that alcohol solution on some lint free cotton and just making sure to rub off all of that stickiness because after you cure it will leave a sticky, sticky layer so you really need to make sure that you wipe that layer off before you go ahead and file because you can mess up your nail files and get them all gummy so making sure to wipe off the top part and the underneath part as well so I will be applying some gel on the underneath as well now the filing process um this part took quite some time but it's so much easier to file than acrylic i'm shaping mines in a square shape this time at the moment i do have an almond shape on my nails i just reshaped them a few weeks afterwards into the almond shape and it looks very 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 pretty if i was to do this video again i would make sure that my natural nail was more of a rounded shape and not a square shape because I think the French tip would have looked a little bit more flattering if the natural nail bed was rounded off instead of squared off so yeah next time I will just make sure that it's rounded off instead of square and I'm just shaping 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 as I said the gel is much more easier to file down than acrylic so even though I was there for a long time trying to shape my nails in the most perfect way because <laughs> I am a perfectionist so it will take me longer to do stuff <laughs> but I'm telling you when I tried to file down acrylic without my drill it was horrendous it was terrible and it just put me off trying out acrylic ever again but this didn't take too long to file down actually it files down quite easy quite nicely and i really actually enjoyed this part even though it was a little bit fiddly like trying to get every nail perfect so just making sure to file down the cuticle line make sure that is as flat and as smooth as possible and making sure that the nail fits my actual fingernail bed my fingernails are very very slim and small so i had to make sure that it actually fit my nails because whenever i go to nail salon that's my main problem with the way that they do my nails it doesn't actually suit my fingers it looks a bit too clumsy and too fat on my nail so yeah i really hate that <laughs> Once I'm finished filing the nails into the shape that I want, I go ahead and take the nail buffer and just give the nails a once over just to have like a flat even surface for when I'm ready to apply my gel. And then I'm dusting it off with my nail brush and making sure to get all the dust out. You can actually go ahead and wash your hands after this stage just to make sure you get all the dust out. But I couldn't be bothered to get up. So I'm just using some alcohol, making sure to get into the crevices of the nails and, you know, just making sure all the dust is out. And then I go ahead and use some nail prep afterwards just to dry out the nail once again. For the top coat, I'm going to be using this Ameli top coat. So I'm just taking this top coat now. And this is my favourite part of the whole nail routine. When you've just freshly buffed the nail and everything's all matte. And then you go ahead and put the top coat on. And it just reveals all of that work that you've done. And that glitter just pops as soon as you put it on. So I'm just putting that top coat on. And I'm also applying a little bit of that gel on the underneath of my nails just so that no dust and anything gets stuck underneath my nails and it makes the nail look more clear as well.
So yeah, once that top coat is on, I go ahead and cure for another 60 seconds and I flip my hands under as well and cure for another 60 seconds just so that I know that it's getting a very, very good cure because sometimes the fum does get left out and it's happened to me many times so I make sure I give that isolated time for the fum. And now I am taking some more of that top coat and I'm going to apply some stickers and some gems. I actually did this part wrong. I didn't actually need to go ahead and put another layer of my top coat. I could have just stuck the stickers on top of that top coat and just done another top coat once I've stuck the stickers on. So I made this part a little bit more difficult than it had to be. I did plan on using my gem glue that I ordered, but it didn't come in time. I still don't have it. I don't know where the hell it is. I think that's why I applied the top coat because I wanted it to replace my nail glue. On my right hand, I just applied the top coat cured it and then start the sticker stone afterwards applied a little bit more of that top coat to apply the gem and then cured that for about 30 seconds so that's that so i applied two snowflakes on each finger and then i applied a diamante on the bigger snowflake towards the base of the nail And on the little finger, I used some nail caviar, which I really, 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 really loved. I couldn't wait to try out the caviar. It just looks so pretty. So I applied a full coat of the top coat on my little nail and just started a nail caviar on top and then cured that for 60 seconds as well. So after applying the stickers and the gems, I cured and I applied another layer of that top coat over top and then cured for a full two minutes just to make sure everything was set in place and then it's all done. The mistake that I made here as well is applying another coating of the top coat on top of the nail caviar. It, it kind of took away some of the effect, which I didn't like. I wanted to make sure that the caviar stays in place, that the gems stay in place. Then once I've finished curing for two minutes, I go ahead and take my alcohol and I'll make sure to wipe off any sticky residue that's on the nail. And this is what's going to make the gel really, really shine and really pop. And then once I've done that, I go ahead and take my cuticle oil and apply that all over the cuticles. And then that's it. And look how beautiful these nails are, guys. I was so impressed with my first try and it's just opening the can of worms for me, honestly. <laughs> Like I'm not going to be in nail tech anytime soon, but I just feel so inspired and so happy to learn a new hobby. And if you guys actually like watching these kind of videos, I will make sure to record more of them. And anytime I do my nails, I'll just record it for you guys and show you the new things that I've learned <laughs> with my nails. At the moment, I'm obsessed with like aura nails, like 
really nice glossy glassy looking nails so i might experiment with that pattern next but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see any more videos from myself i hope you guys have a very very merry christmas and a wonderful new year and i hope it's a good one for you all wish you guys all the love and prosperity in this new year thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye Oh, 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 oh,